Welcome back to ProLine. Last week was great for all the handicappers. There's a lot going on in sports. LeBron, Miami Heat, they go to Boston. They lose the game, but to be expected, they're not really in sync yet. Favre, broken ankle. Nobody plays with a broken ankle, right? Well, maybe Favre will. <laughs> Romo is out. And Kitna's leading the Dallas offense, which has been non-existent all year long. Coaches on the hot seat, they're all over the league. you got teams, an upside-down NFL. Minnesota, New Orleans, San Diego, and Cincinnati, all supposed to be at the top, kind of at the bottom right now. Dave, what do you think about all this? Well, first of all, uh, check out LeBron's new commercial, which is, it, it, is the I, I'm sick of it already. Absolutely I did great. See it. Absolutely great commercial. I, I, I don't like LeBron. I know that's I'm, I'm sick of the commercial. I like Dave. LeBron, but I don't like the commercial. The yeah. new one? Oh, oh I'm, I'm sick of it. The only part I like is when he bites the donut and says I'm not a robot. That's model. great. You know, I mean, but it's, awesome. he didn't write it. <laughs> well, I know, but he's, he acts it pretty well. That's true. And by the way, if you see what, what the Cleveland Cavaliers have without him, maybe you'll understand why he left. <laughs> uh, you know, they weren't, you know, one guy can't win a title. And one guy can't win a football game either. So, you know, Tony Romo, John Kitna. Uh, Romo's certainly a better quarterback than Kitna, but... Uh, the Cowboys are such a bad football team right now. And I had Dallas on Monday night. i got to tell you something. Uh, I'm not going to use the Romo injury as an excuse. They were the wrong side in that game. The, uh, the Cowboys were absolutely abysmal in that contest, which brings up, ties into the coaches on the hot seat thing. I don't know why the NFL has always been so reluctant to fire coaches in the middle of the season if they're not getting the job done. Uh, they're starting to get away from that a little bit now. I think Singletary could be gone in San Francisco following this thing in London. And I don't see why Wade Phillips isn't gone in Dallas. Al, that's a really, and I, I don't mean to pin it all on the coach, but that's a badly coached football team. No discipline, no emotion, awful on Monday night. Yeah, yeah, they were terrible, and I agree with you. I had a big play on the Dallas Cowboys as well, and they were going to lose that game yeah. with or without Romo. Wade Phillips will be gone at the end of the year. Norv Turner should be gone at the end of the year. I mean, if you saw what San Diego did in that ball game, they had three incredibly bad turnovers. These, these, these kids, I, don't, I mean, you know, one was a rookie mistake, they say, but these guys aren't well coached at all. So you've got a lot of coaches that will be gone in, 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 in short order here. I've talked about the Chargers a few times already on the show. What bothers me the most about San Diego is they lose games and they're standing on the sideline, the clock ticking down 10, 9, 8, at the end of the game when they're going to lose, and you see them looking like there's no urgency. Like, like okay, we're losing, what, you know, get on the flight, we'll go back home, and we'll see what happens at the end of the year again. There's like no, there's no emotion from the same. And it's and not then, like this is anything new with their start. And I'm, and I'm all for firing Bill Belichick after going for it on fourth and two at the 48-yard line with a minute and a half to go, and Phillip Rivers is on the other team. And in fact, if it wasn't for a bad move, a, a badly coached offensive lineman who jumps and pushes San Diego five yards back, oh, they teams. might make that, that field goal at the end of the game and send it to overtime. But so, again, but that's bad coaching. That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's again, it's so bad what? coaching so, by the okay. special teams. So, so here's the question, and this is why I've never understood this about the NFL. Major League Baseball, they have no problem changing right. managers in the middle of the season. NBA, NHL, they do it all the time. Why does the NFL insist on, on Ma- keeping coaches around? Well, it's going to mess up the team? They're already messed up. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, yeah. it has, maybe it has something to do with the number of games they play. Baseball plays 160 games. Basketball plays 81, 82 games. In football, they only play 16, 17 games. 17 weeks. So, um, I'll so, tell you what, I have no problem with Singletary being let go. He's done one thing right in San Francisco, and that's been to basically save the career out of, uh, for Vernon Davis, the tight end, who was just a mess. Uh, his first rookie season. His first rookie he's season. A well, he's, he's, he's a coordinator. Well, that's he's, all he is. He's a good that's coordinator. All he is. He's not a head coach. But he's just, he's just a, I mean, who wants to play for this guy? I don't know if you guys saw when they played against Kansas City a few weeks ago, and they were getting yep. just whacked yep. down big time. And San Francisco had the ball with about a minute to go, and he's telling him to throw the ball downfield and try. And Alex Smith was not happy. A receiver who made a catch for the touchdown got hit, almost got injured. I don't like the way – he ought to stay in London. Find a job in the EPL. <laughs> well, the, the second, the well he only got a one-way ticket. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> I tell you, the second thing he's doing right is starting Troy Smith and bypassing David Carr. I mean, that, at least I agree with that decision. So, you know, I, I think we'll see what they do oh, this week. Yeah. 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 yeah, David Carr doesn't seem to have much of a future. Sorry, in football. I, they're, they're starting Troy Smith. <laughs> And oh, okay. David Instead of Carr, car. yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yeah, Alex Smith is injured. We're yeah, going to exactly. come right back. We have four big games and some special offers, so stay tuned. I have so much to say, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. This Sunday, my pro total of the year wins. It's a guaranteed winner or all of November's executive services free. $50 online this Sunday, but available right now for $10 when you call 1-866-841-1655. 
Totals have been hitting 63% this season, and I was 5-1, and 83% last weekend. Plus, you'll also get Saturday's college football NBA parlay as a free bonus. That's three ways to win for just 10 bucks. The guaranteed NFL total of the year, college football NBA parlay winner. And don't forget, for free plays each and every day, text WINNER, that's W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. Have a huge weekend. Make the call 1-866-841-1655 and text WINNER to 313131. Hi, I'm Al McGordy, and my clients are happier than a dog in a butcher shop. Last week, we swept the board again with our Vegas strip move place. We've been getting a record number of calls, and this week, I want the record to be broken once again. Call right now, toll free. Here's the offer. Get all of our Vegas strip move plays for the rest of the college football season, only $19. But that's not all. I'll throw in the rest of November absolutely free, all our NBA plays. That's college football, NBA basketball, all the Vegas strip move plays, $19. Call toll free, 866-896-1628. These plays are 17-1 and one on the season. The only loser, a last second loss. That's how close to being 18-0. and 0. Call right now, toll free, 866-896-1628. It's only $19. The rest of the college football season, plus absolutely free, all of November's NBA. 866-896-1628. 1628 only $19. Call now. Welcome back. We've got a couple of big games to talk about. Undefeated Michigan State goes to Iowa this week. Iowa laid an egg last week, and everybody talks about this great Iowa defense. But they've stepped up, like Scott said earlier, they've stepped up a couple times, and the defense hasn't shown up, giving up a lot of points. Al, what do you think about this team? Well, you know, normally, Jim, I like to go against a home favorite of minus seven points or less off an upset loss if they're playing a 500 or better opponent as they are this week. These teams, long term, 100 wins against 161 ATS losses. I'm going to make an exception here. I'm actually going to take Iowa minus the points. The Hawkeyes are a brilliant, brilliant if I can say the word, 28 and 8 against a spread at home or on neutral fields, provided they're not off back to back losses. I think Iowa gets the cover here. I, I, I think Iowa does as well. Mine isn't so much on the Iowa side as it's anti-Michigan State because they're lucky. Oh, yeah. They are a lucky I think they're good as well. They're, they're a good team, but they're not a great team. They're not a top-10 team. I've got them about 20th in my power rankings, which means they're getting a little bit lucky. Uh, they've struggled. They struggled against Illinois in the first half, happened to get that game going in the second half, and they just stole last week's game from Northwestern. The Wildcats basically blew the football game. Uh, they, they, they're in fake punt coverage and somehow didn't cover the fake punt properly, and that's what won the game ultimately for Michigan State. Their luck is going to run out eventually, Scott, and I think it runs out right here. By saying lucky, you're kind of stealing my line that I was stealing from Al because Michigan State's been luckier than a dog in a butcher shop I mean, <laughs> most of the season. I mean, if you go back to Notre Dame, that fake punt, Notre Dame had the fake punt covered. The kid falls down on, de on defense, and, and they score a touchdown there. Last week, as these guys were already starting to hit on, Northwestern jumps out 17-0. They fumble the ball at the Michigan State one-yard line on one certain play. They get the fake punt. For some reason, they don't cover it, even though they're thinking fake punt, as you just mentioned. The guy turned the wrong way. The cornerback, exactly. Cornerback. Turned the wrong they way. Were in, they were in fake punt coverage. Had it covered. If he, if he actually they carries out the play. Everybody in the stadium yeah. knew it was coming, yeah. and, and, and they messed it up so anyway. They've been extremely lucky. Hey, Stanzi, you know, I still like this kid. 16-2 to two touchdown to INT ratio. Not crazy about this Iowa Hawkeye defense, Jim, as you said. I mean, they go out, out west. We had Arizona in that game, and they get pretty beat up pretty bad the first three quarters of that Arizona contest, and then last week give up uh, 31 points to Wisconsin. But I, again, I agree with these guys. And by the way, Ferenc... When he's off a straight-up loss, they are 10-2 and two against the spread mm. next time out the run that they're on. Uh, I think Iowa finally catches on My power ratings, by the way, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. I make Michigan State around 20, 21st in the nation. Before last week's games, I had Iowa nine points better at this venue, Connect Stadium, than Michigan State. I'm sticking with those power ratings and laying the points. I don't like laying points to undefeated teams, especially, I mean, they've, they've got, they're on a roll. And Iowa's got the big disappointment last week. I'm not going against it, but... It makes me a little nervous sure. laying the number. Another undefeated team, uh, arguably number one team in the country. Uh, Boise State doesn't get mentioned in that, but they might be the number one team in the country. Hi, Scott Spritzer from Smash Mouth Sports. Countdown number two is here. We hit countdown number one. That one's in the win column a couple of weeks ago. 
Today, Saturday, Sunday, we have countdown number two. Three big plays in college football, including an underdog game of the year. Two plays from Sunday's NFL, including another featured underdog game of the month. My featured dogs in pro football, 11 and 1, 92% the last 12. How about 15 and 4 for the season? Hey, make the call, 1-866-866. 896-1627, just $15 for all five plays, and you'll get November NBA at no additional cost. 1-866-896-1627. You know the drill. You make the call. I count them down. You count the cash. Well, the last three weeks, my Proline special offers have been absolutely dynamite. Started off with my college revenge game of the year, North Carolina State, all over Boston College. Week after that, college game of the month for October, was the easiest winner on the board. Oklahoma, 52-0 over Iowa State. They covered the spread by 30 points. Last weekend, the beat goes on. Three conference games of the year, 2-1 and one on those, and then hit my NFL parlay of the month on Sunday with the Seahawks and the under. Today, my best offer so far this season, three more conference games of the year in college football on Saturday. And this time, they're all guaranteed to get the money. That's right, a 3-0 sweep guaranteed for just $25. All three games have to get there, or you get my executive service for the month of November completely free of charge. So make sure and take advantage of this powerhouse offer, 1-866-841-1665. You are going 25, or you're going 3-0, and guaranteed for just $25. Oregon Ducks go to USC. USC's had a week off to prepare for this. They're talking a lot. They're getting ready for the Ducks to come in there, and they definitely have revenge from the last two years. Uh, Dave? Well, I want to take USC here because I know it's their biggest game of the season. This is, this is it for USC. They have no bowl game this year. Uh, boy, they'd love to spoil Oregon's unbeaten season, and, and this would be their crowning achievement. And I think that, you know, I'm going to wait to see what Al has on this because I, I'm interested to know what the, uh, the technical angles are. The problem with the game is the matchup. USC's secondary is still slow. We've seen that all year. They have had a lot of trouble handling speed. You saw it in the very first game they played against Hawaii because Hawaii's got speedy receivers, and USC couldn't keep up with them. Well, Oregon, this, this team is greased lightning yeah, on are. offense, and that's going to keep me out of the game in all likelihood. But I will tell you that a motivated home dog facing a team with all the pressures on Oregon here, Al, I, I, if I had to bet this, I would take USC plus the points. I'm, I, you've, you've got a lot of good stuff on unbeaten teams going on the road at this point. I want to hear what you've Yeah, I mean, I, I've got so many technicals going against, you know, unbeaten teams at this stage of the year, taking teams with rest and revenge against, you know, a conference foe if our rest and revenge teams off a straight-up win. And what a win Southern Cal is off of. I mean, they win by 34 points. And I think they – what was it? It was 42 nothing out of the gate yeah. against, against Cal. So Southern Cal, the week off – off that huge win, I think is the spot here. And I've got a tremendous, here's another system. You know, since 1980, 500 or better home teams off a double digit straight up and against a spread win in which they scored more than 30 points. They're 62 and 25 against a spread versus a conference opponent off three straight conference wins, provided that conference foe was also off a double digit win. I'm going to take the points with Southern Cal. I agree with you, Dave. I think the pace of play, especially when it gets late in the fourth quarter, that might hurt Southern Cal because Oregon's going to play at a faster pace than Southern Cal's seen all year. But I still think the points are worthwhile, especially if you can get plus seven or more. I got a big play on this game. And so I'm going to change the, the, the conversation a little bit about the Oregon Ducks. And I'm not saying that I think one way or the other. I just want to throw this out there. Oregon, okay recruiting, nothing special as far as when you see these recruiting lists that come out when they, when they go after these guys, these kids. Is it the system or is it the players they're getting? And, and I'm not going to make an argument for either side. I'm just going to throw that out there. And I'm going to go back a little ways. So if you're 18 years old watching this show, shame on you. But anyway, you're not going to know what I'm talking about here. If you look at the Oklahoma Sooners of the Barry Switzer years, they ran a wishbone style of option offense. They had tremendous recruiting classes mm -hmm. coming in there. Thomas Lott, Billy Sims, Elvis Peacock, on and on and on. You had Nebraska over the same time, maybe late 70s up until about 1992, running the, uh, uh, the I-formation option offense with not nearly as good or quality players in the backfield on offense that Oklahoma had, other than maybe about a four-year run there when they had guys like Turner Gill, Mike Rozier, Irving Fryer in the same backfield. Uh, so what I'm trying to say here is, though, Nebraska would blast teams off the field, but when they would play those step-up games yeah. against top-notch speed defenses, they had no chance. 
And I'm just throwing this out there when it comes bowl time, when Oregon maybe has to face a TCU even, or a Boise State even, or an Alabama, those kind of defenses with that kind of speed. Is it the program? Is it the system? Or can these players who are so, so on the recruiting list going to be able to step it up? I'm not sure yet. I do have a big play on this particular game. And if you make the call to Smash Mouth Sports, you'll find out what I think if it is the system or if it is a guy like Thomas behind center that's making great plays and the wide receivers are lightning quick. Great information, Scott. Let me ask you, we've had three, was it three straight weeks we've had the number one team in the country go down? Right. Yeah. But technically it's Oregon number Auburn, one or number two. Auburn yeah, exactly. Is, well, Auburn is, in, uh, some uh, people uh, think it's Oregon. The, well, the AP poll has it's Auburn. It's either Auburn or, uh, yeah. or uh, I don't. Oregon, I think right? it's TCU. I'm a, I, 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 want, I have to tell you, I think t- I have TCU. Fantastic uh, football team. Well, I, I, I'd put Boise up there personally. Mm-hmm. But I don't have Boise as high. Really? No. I, I, I think Boise is. Uh, well, how have they done when they played each other the last couple of years? Um. TCU beat, beat him in the bowl game. Yeah. And then Boise got their revenge last year. Yeah. So, they've uh, split. so they, they split. Pretty, but I, I actually think TCU is a better score. And Dave and I are matchup guys, definitely. Yeah. And we're both in agreement yeah. here again. I mean, TCU. You I like ranked. TCU over Boise? Yeah, I do. I would make I TCU about a three-point three point favorite, favorite in the country. neutral field. I think that TCU, I, I think they're, to me, they're the overall the number one team in the country. I do. But I don't think they should be able to play for a national championship because of the conference they play in. And I do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to see them play. Somebody big. I'd like to see them play the championship. It, 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 we have to elevate these teams. I mean, they've done the body of work these teams have done for the last three, four, five years. Deserve, they deserve a shot. We'll be right back with some great pro games. Hi, I'm Al McCourty, and my clients are happier than a dog in a butcher shop. Last week, we swept the board again with our Vegas strip move place. We've been getting a record number of calls, and this week, I want the record to be broken once again. Call right now, toll free. Here's the offer. Get all of our Vegas strip move plays for the rest of the college football season, only $19. But that's not all. I'll throw in the rest of November, absolutely free, all our NBA plays. That's college football, NBA basketball, all the Vegas strip move plays, $19. Call toll-free, 866-896-1628. These plays are 17-1 and one on the season. The only loser, a last-second loss. That's how close to being 18-0. and 0. Call right now, toll-free, 866-896-1628. It's only $19. The rest of the college football season, plus absolutely free, all of November's NBA. 866-896-1628. 1628 only $19. Call now. Hi, Scott Spritzer from Smash Mouth Sports. Countdown number two is here. We hit countdown number one. That one's in the win column a couple of weeks ago. Today, Saturday, Sunday, we have countdown number two. Three big plays in college football, including an underdog game of the year. Two plays from Sunday's NFL, including another featured underdog game of the month. My featured dogs in pro football, 11 and 1, 92% the last 12. How about 15 and 4 for the season? Hey, make the call. 1 866 896 1627. Just $15 for all five plays. And you'll get November NBA at no additional cost. 1-866-896-1627. You know the drill. You make the call. I count them down. You count the cash. Welcome back. We're going to talk about two great pro games. We've got the Packers visiting the Jets. The NFL has been very formful this year. Lots of money to be made with these NFL games. The Packers are like a walking wounded, the mass unit of the NFL. They are banged up everywhere coming off the emotional victory over Minnesota. Huge victory for them. That saved their season, but now they're going to go visit the Jets, who are arguably the best team in football. This team is rough. They play physical football. Their offense is in gear, and they had a week off to heal and get ready for this game. Scott, what do you think? Well, I, I tell you what, it, it almost, Dave and I were kind of talking about this before we did the show and said, boy, this almost looks like too easy to lay the points here with the New York Jets. Um, Sanchez, still not sold on him. If Matthews is healthy, you know, he's had a handy problem going on. If this guy, he was like on par to, to have, what, about 3,500 sacks this year before he had the hamstring problem and he comes back and plays a nice game against Minnesota. Uh, you mentioned also that Green Bay probably shouldn't have won that game against yeah. the Vikings. Yeah. Well, I guess Brett Favre didn't realize that they probably shouldn't have won the game because he stunk it up in that final quarter. In fact, if he removes his head from his rear end, <laughs> Minnesota wins the game, and we're talking about that right now. But Uh, As far as this particular game, if you don't run the ball well, you're likely not going to beat the Jets. I'm not sure this is the best team in the NFL. They've been outgained four times already this year, talking about New York. They are off. Uh, The nice bye week comes at a good time. They can heal up. They can get ready for Green Bay. I think Green Bay would actually be running the football better, even without Ryan Grant, 
if Aaron Rodgers didn't have three targets missing from each game uh, due to injury. But I'm going to just have to lay it here. Small, small play just for the sake of the show on the New York Jets minus the points. I think I'm going to go with the under. Uh, in the game, because at this point, the Packers are a one-dimensional football team. They can't run the football. Uh, Ryan Grant's not there. And the guys they have, just uh, Jackson's just, you know, let's face it, he's kind of a bust. He's, he's, he's a backup running back, and, and they got the, the big guy, but he's, he's just a straight up the middle, a couple of yards in a cloud of d- dust uh, type. Uh, and they're beat up. Uh, I, I don't think the Jets need to be wide open in this football game. And, and also remember, by the way, the Packers have to throw the ball. Now they're throwing into a healthy Revis. First time all year, Revis is going to be 100% healthy in this game. He has said so. I think the Packers are going to shut him down, but I th- uh, the Jets are going to shut him down. I also think the Packers' defense can contain the Jets to some extent in this game. So I'm going to look for the under in this one, Al. Yeah, I, I don't know if the Packers' defense can really contain anything. Minnesota pretty much moved up and down the field at will. The Packers have just three healthy defensive linemen right now. I mean, they are the most injured team in the entire NFL. They're giving up 4.6 yards per rush. And if you take a look at what NFL teams with a 560 win percentage or better that give up 4.35 yards per rush or more, if they're off a straight-up win these teams are now six and 35 against the spread versus an opponent that rushes for more than 147 and a half yards per game that's also off a straight up win i think green bay just gets destroyed in this ball peterson game, lit him up i mean peterson just lit him up on on sunday well, the night. vikings won the football game the only right. problem is they didn't count the shanko touchdown and sure and they find children's thirty five thousand dollars for for letting everybody know that the officials got it wrong what did you think about that jim about i mean childress i i had no problem i like two sides of a coin here. At first, I had no problem with Childress coming out and really calling Brett Favre out on the carpet saying, hey, you know, a guy this old better realize that it's okay sometimes to punt the football. At the same time, you made a big deal. You want a few players to go down and get him and bring him back. It's not like the guy's been in the league for half a season. You know what you're getting when you're getting Brett Favre. So it's kind of like I, I agree with them calling him out, but at the same time, man, you made your bed laying it. I don't, a, a, leader of, a leader of people knows that they don't air their dirty laundry in public yep. and they don't bring down other people in front of others. The, he could have talked to him personally. I think it's, he's probably right about what he said, sure. but it's the wrong way to do it. It's the wrong way to handle it. Uh, Favre probably shouldn't have come back. He looks like he, this year he really looks old. He's much worse than he was a year ago. The performance is terrible. They should have stuck with a younger, you know, Rosenfels was there. They, sh- they should have stuck Jackson. with Tavares Jackson. Yeah. Tavares Jackson. Jackson. And Rosenfels, they traded away. Right. Uh, this, this, looks, this game looks really easy. Uh, and, and I hate laying favorites, but the situation, the mass unit def- on defense, they played a psycho defense last week. <laughs> One defensive lineman, five defensive backs. I mean, that's not going to work, especially after somebody sees what you did and can prepare for it. The Jets are going to crush here. We're going to come back. We have another big game to talk about. Well, the last three weeks, my Pro-Line special offers have been absolutely dynamite. Started off with my college revenge game of the year, North Carolina State, all over Boston College. Week after that, college game of the month for October was the easiest winner on the board. Oklahoma, 52-0 over Iowa State. They covered the spread by 30 points. Last weekend, the beat goes on. Three conference games of the year, 2-1 and one on those, and then hit my NFL parlay of the month on Sunday with the Seahawks and the under. Today, my best offer so far this season. Three more conference games of the year in college football on Saturday. And this time, they're all guaranteed to get the money. That's right, a 3-0 sweep guaranteed for just $25. All three games have to get there, or you get my executive service for the month of November completely free of charge. So make sure and take advantage of this powerhouse offer, 1-866-841-1665. You are going 25, or you're going 3-0 guaranteed for just $25. I have so much to say, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. This Sunday, my pro total of the year wins. It's a guaranteed winner or all of November's executive services free. $50 online this Sunday, but available right now for $10 and when you call 1-866-841-1655. Totals have been hitting 63% this season, and I was 5-1, and 83% last weekend. Plus, you'll also get Saturday's college football NBA Parlay as a free bonus. That's three ways to win for just 10 bucks. The guaranteed NFL total of the year, college football NBA Parlay winner. And don't forget, for free plays each and every day, 
text WINNER, that's W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. Have a huge weekend. Make the call, 1-866-841-1655, and text WINNER to 313131. We're going to talk about the Dolphins and the Bengals. Uh, this, this is really a weird group of teams here. Two pretenders. Miami can't win at home. They don't lose on the road, though. They, they win every game so far this year on the road. The Bengals, I don't know what they're doing. They're 2-4 and four on the season. They bring in, they got Ocho, and they bring in T.O., and, and it, Palmer might be a little bit out of uh, sync now this year. Maybe he's a little too old. He had a good second half last week. He did throw the ball around. Mostly short stuff, though, but gained a lot of yardage. Uh, Dave, uh, I don't like either one of these teams. I think they're both pretenders. I think the Dolphins are improving, though. Uh, I, I think I like the organization down there, uh, and I think they're getting better. They're just not ready yet. But the Bengals, I, I've been preaching this for years with them. They don't get it as an organization. They keep on going out, and if the guys got a checkered pass that's like, okay, we'll mm -hmm. take him. Um, it doesn't work. They have a bunch of individuals. They're talented, and there haven't been any internal problems that we know of this year, but they don't function as a team. Uh, and Ocho Cinco and, and T.O. are you know, busy doing the reality show. Uh, Carson Palmer doesn't look really good. Uh, the running game, you had Benson complaining about the game plan earlier in the season. The defense doesn't stop anybody when it counts. They have talent but they're not a good football team. The Miami is a better football team than they are, even though they don't have as much individual talent. They play more as a unit, and they, they're not afraid to go on the road. I think the Dolphins can go in and win this game, Al. Yeah, I mean, all the, te all the technicals favor the uh, Miami Dolphins here. I'm not sure which side I'm going to take, but, you know, everything is on Miami here. Underdogs in the NFL this season, 33-11 and 11 against the spread if they lost their previous game. That's the strongest mm -hmm. trend going for the 2010 season. Cincinnati, 1-10 as a favorite the past few years, including 0-7 and against the spread at home. Dolphins, 12-2 and as a road underdog. As Jim mentioned, they haven't lost on the road this year. So all the technicals are on the Miami side. I'm going to stay away from this game right now. You know, I audibled last week because a lot of matchup situations, a lot of guys that I respect in this business, angle players, matchup guys like myself, were on Cincinnati over the Atlanta Falcons. But I had watched most of their games that they had played so far, most of the four quarters each week, and they didn't pass the eye test for me, Cincinnati. And I took the Atlanta Falcons at Smash Mouth Sports because of it. And I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins because of that again. I, I don't know how Terrell Owens keeps getting a job. I just don't know. Everywhere he goes, he destroys the locker room. Uh, and Ocho Cinco's not getting the ball as much as he wants. They're going to start complaining now that they're losing games. Uh, Carson Palmer, by the way, ever since the injury he took in that playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's just never been the same. And here's what he's got to watch out for here is Miami can get after you. They can get after the quarterback. And I think Cincinnati, on the other hand, has maybe five or six more sacks than the four of us do this year in the NFL. <laughs> I mean, it's been that bad. But if you watched last week, I know, Al, you had Miami, I had Miami. They end up covering against Pittsburgh. They had been on the run. I mean, that they got to screwed me, in the game. Well, okay, sorry, they, they got screwed. I know that fumble, that was, but, that was an awful but the, call. the whole point the was is that they were they were chasing him. Ben Roethlisberger, to me, had one of the best weekends of an NFL player in ten years. Watching that game last week, he created so much of what Pittsburgh did offensively last week. He was constantly under pressure. He was able to do his thing. He was able to run around in the pocket and create time for his receivers to be able to make some openings, and he was able to get the ball to him. Now, he did have the fumble at the end, uh, but the bottom line was is that Miami did cover. Pittsburgh got the victory. But I think Miami goes into Cincinnati, shocks the Bengals again, the Bungles, whatever you want to call them, and Cincinnati just continues to fade. Got to go with Miami. Cincinnati has been a huge disappointment. And last week in Atlanta, they were just totally out of the game. They did come back at halftime, opened it up, and started to look like a football team that could actually score. That might be a signal that they could change their style. And if they do, we could get caught napping here. But, and the game would actually fly over the total because both of these teams are trending over this year, even though you wouldn't think that they are. Uh, Miami got screwed last week. Now, I understand what the officials called and everything else, but they're pissed about it because they actually thought they won the game. I kind of thought they won the game too. But that was, uh, Roethlisberger was great. He is a great quarterback. He's got two Super Bowl rings to, to prove it. Uh, Miami's the right side in this game. However, I'm going to back off of that. I'm going to go with the over. In case they didn't see, 
there were six Dolphins laying on the fumble in the end zone. Yeah. There was a Pittsburgh Steeler about 15 yards away. The referees couldn't figure out who had the ball. Well, so. that, you know, Rothenberg, actually, Rothenberg Rothenberg actually, swears he had the ball. Well, well and, like, uh, yeah, he player raises it up in his head like this. Is, this is, it, it is, it, again, it's, it's the rule. According, it to wasn't the, clear. according to the rule, they got it right. Which right, is of course. Absurd. This is the same totally league. Absurd. That the same league that has the tuck Miami rule. Covered. <laughs> Remember the tuck yep. rule? I'm still trying to figure that one. <laughs> We're going to come right back with the best bets. I have so much to say. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. This Sunday, my pro total of the year wins. It's a guaranteed winner, or all of November's executive services free. Fifty dollars online this Sunday, but available right now for ten bucks. And when you call one eight six six. 841-1655. Totals have been hitting 63% this season, and I was 5-1, and 83% last weekend. Plus, you'll also get Saturday's college football NBA parlay as a free bonus. That's three ways to win for just 10 bucks. The guaranteed NFL total of the year, college football NBA parlay winner. And don't forget, for free plays each and every day, text WINNER, that's W-I-N-N-E-R, to 31 31 31. Have a huge weekend. Make the call 1 841 1655 and text WINNER to 31 31 31. And my best bet this week is Iowa minus the points over Michigan State. Your best bet, make the call to Smash Mouth Sports, 1-866-896-1627. My second top five countdown of the season goes this week. We won the first a couple of weeks ago. Three big college football plays that includes a big underdog game of the year. Two big plays from the NFL as we look to continue that 11-1 hot streak with NFL underdogs. Get all five plays counted down from number five to number one, all for 15 bucks. And the NBA at no additional cost, 1-866-896-1627. You know what, Scott? I think the magic runs out for Michigan State as well. The fake punts have gotten them two wins so far this year. Or a fake field goal one time and a fake punt the other time. Not this week. Michigan State gets their first loss. Iowa wins and covers is my best bet here on the show. Your best bet is definitely to get involved in this big hot streak I've had with my Pro-Line specials the last few weeks. It's going to continue. My best offer of the year and biggest as well. Three guaranteed Conference Game of the Year winners. All three have to hit, or you get free personal service for the entire month of November. 25 bucks, 1-866-841-1665. If you like the idea of going 3-0, and you'll make that call right now. Thanks, Dave. My best bet last week, Missouri, a nice winner. Now 6-1 and one on the season. This week, my best bet is going to be the Southern Cal Trojans, plus the points over Oregon. Your best bet is to make the call and get all my Vegas strip moves for the rest of the college season for just $19. These plays now a documented 17-1, and 94% on the season. And when you get my Vegas strip move plays for college football for the rest of the year, only $19. I'll throw in all the NBA Vegas strip moves absolutely free for the month of November. Call toll-free 866-896-1628. Once again, these plays are now 17-1 and on the season. A record number of calls the last few weeks. We're going to do it again, get the rest of November all the way through the end of the college football season in November, just $19, and you get the NBA plays as well. 866-896-1628. Call right now. Jim? My best bet for the show this week is the New York Jets. It's a perfect setup. The Jets are coming off a bye Hottest team in football, arguably the best team in football. Green Bay coming off the emotional win to Minnesota. They're going to be kind of flat here. Jets win this one big. And don't forget, there's three ways to win. Write this number down, 1-866-841-1655. I've been red hot smoking in pro totals. This week is my pro total of the year, and it's guaranteed to win, or the rest of November is all free on me. And as a bonus, you get my college football, and NBA parlay. That's right, as a free bonus. Plus, it's only 10 bucks. It's $50 online, only 10 bucks when you make the call, 1-866-841-1655. And don't forget, if you want winners each and every day, text right to your phone. Just text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. And each and every day, you're going to have free winners sent to your phone. Don't forget, we're going to be here next week. And that's your best bet. So stay tuned each and every week.